Hi everybody, we will be doing another live stream today. Today will be how to set the 4K settings for Premiere Pro 2001 for the 4K settings. Open up your project. As you can see, I've got one open already. Select the bits that you want to be exported. So hit I on your keyboard that stands for the in and then drag to the spot where you want it out and then hit out then go up to file then go to export then go media now you've got all your cool export settings here now I have already set this up as a preset for 4k so this is the encoding format basically so leave this as is I already have this as a preset so we'll go to there and I will show you the rest of the settings to use now this is the width this is the height that's the frame rate set the film order to progressive hit the export ratio to square pixels 1.0 um, these are different TV standards if you're going to use them so if you live in America or Japan or Europe or Asia or somewhere use the PAL and um, you can also use um, NS NTSC. Okay, so you can click on those depending which one you want. Then click Render at Maximum Depth. The encoder settings is click on Software Encoding. you may have to change it depending on your computer but I've got a, a gaming computer and a film computer so this one should be fine um, so then go to profile um, high you can have high 10 I just leave it as high because if not it goes a bit weird then go to where it says um, level You always leave this at 5.2 do not go over 5.2 because it goes a little bit weird then these will just change themselves these will change themselves now the bitrate encoding click C B R um, you can use uh, path 1 or these other ones but CBR is the one you use for that the target bit rate you can drag that all the way up to go knows what but leave it as a thousand because if not the file will be huge you don't have to click any of those you can if you wish um, for the limit you can hit effects and all that sort of stuff if you want to you don't have to do any of that that's up to you whether you wish to or not okay then we go to audio the audio settings is we want ACC you can hit MPEG but ACC works better then we select um, ACC again then we um, 
leave that as it is or go up to 48000 um, then we go to stereo you can change it to mono 5.1 I leave it as stereo because it sounds better uh, the audio quality we always leave it as high because if you leave it on low it sort of goes all scratchy mediums a bit scratchy so we always leave it as that the bit rate change to 3 2 0 for the precedence always use bit rate do not use sample rate multiplexer always select mp4 the string capability you can go to sp that's for like playstations and this is for like ipods this is standard standard suits everything um, if you have captions you can add them in there and then if you have other things like if you have like Adobe Creative Cloud and you wish to save it to a folder or Adobe Stock or any of these other silly things that I can app I can do I could um I can actually directly upload this to video so I can sit um Facebook and then type in my account and everything but I'd rather not and um, and Twitter I can automatically upload this to Twitter or I can automatically upload it to Vimeo or uh, YouTube but um, I don't automatically upload it to YouTube because then I use another program to make the file smaller. And you can also put your custom thumbnail in. Um, so you have to have that enabled as well. Then go here, then go click use maximum depth render quality. You can you just click there. Don't don't bother about that. That that's fine as it is. And then just hit export, and it will go as normal. So this is another tutorial, guys, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And I look forward to showing you heaps more tutorials. So I'll see you next time, guys.